Hi everybody, today I'm gonna cr do a crochet um, chain and I hope you enjoy. My name is Makeda and I'm nine years old. Let's begin. This part, I'm going to do the slip knot and you do not need your hook. First, you take you hold with your right hand, you take your left hand, and you take your pointer finger out and move one and two. Then take your thumb and your uh, middle finger and pinch that piece right there and take this in the front and this took over and made an off. I mean, yeah, a slip knot. So now we're gonna move on to the chain. Now if you're right, you would hold the hook with your right. If you're left, then you would hold with your left. You can see I'm, I write with my right hand, so I'm gonna hold it with my right. This you're gonna hold with the same hook, um, hand you hold with the hook. So you're gonna take this with the other hand, which is the big string, and you're gonna hold that and loop around one time. Make that hook, Stuck. Okay, once you did that, you're going to take this to your other hand that has the other piece in it, and you're going to twist and pull. And I just made a knot. If you need to rewind, you can always rewind. Totally fine. Again, take that with the same hand as the hook. This is how I learned. Step one, hold your hook with your right hand. Step two, take this on the same hand you're holding the hook. Step three, loop around. Step four, move it to your other hand that has the other yarn. And step five, twist and pull. And you're definitely not going to get it the first time. If you do, well, good for you. Because <laughs> it takes a lot of practice. So see how sometimes it gets out, which is fine. Just gotta keep going until you get it. And once you do your finger work, you'll do the paste. So you see how it got stuck there? Just go and readjust it, make it kind of a little less tight, and voila. So this is how you make a chain. I'm gonna pause the video real quick and I'm gonna show you what it looks like done. So right here is the basic chain. This is our, as far as I got. So this is a beginning of many patterns. See right here, this is a pattern I did yesterday and how I began was this basic chain. So you always, so not, every pattern but most of them you want to start off with this so several patterns you start off with that and just remember one thing keep practicing and trying and you'll get the hang of it bye